All right, everybody. We got we made go our back me to the party. We made our mees, or rather, we showed you our made mees. But now we're gonna, you know, we're gonna relax. We're gonna go listen to some music. At Nintendo 3S Sound, which is kind of a strange. weird, kind of a weird name for the program. I think it goes with 3S Camera, so yeah, 3S Sound. Yeah. Anyway, right from the get-go, you can see a giant record. Yep. And our voices are showing up on the 3DS. Yep. And if you uh, and if you stay long enough, these parakeets are gonna repeat them. But we're gonna show right now what you can do with voices you can record. Now you can get up to ten setups. A lot of them. That's a lot of clips. You request them, you can record, and this is what it sounds like when you are on the radio on ninety-three point three W A N T W. Yeah. This is what it sounds like when you are on the radio. Actually, it really doesn't sound like you're on the radio at all. <laughs> no, it's a set. My they should keep you away from microphones. Okay, it's okay. It saves the recording, and then you end up edit it. You can edit them if you want, which this is what it sounds like. You can of course increase the pitch. And that sounds a lot more like the radio, to be honest. Now you can also lower the pitch and change the speed, obviously. You can also actually, uh, if you, uh, yeah. all right, take it. You can also make it look like a parakeet. That was more like Elvin the Chipmunks, to be honest. A robot. Or you're on helium. Or you can... We're talking to an electric fan. Or... Down a tunnel. Or through a transmitter. Transceiver. I can read. Roger Dodger. Low harmony. They've come for us. They've come to take us. They've come to take us, too. And that one's just come to join the party, I guess. And then there's a trumpet. <laughs> Try to translate your voices into a in sound. In case we're we have to talk to the brass instruments in, in their language. <laughs> or a whistle. That's an effed up whistle. If you could pull that off on normal. And a buzzer. Unless you really want to know your friends. And there you go. That's what you can do with the sound. Guess what? That's what it sounds like when you're on the radio. Yeah, because you didn't notice that. You can even save the effects if you want. And or you can erase them if you really don't like what you just recorded. <laughs> it's good if you want to keep notes. Like you said, take, like, you know... The problem is that you can, only trip record, or... yeah, you can only record 10 second clips, though. Well, that's why they give you so many clips you can record at a time. Alright, so let's go right into music. You know, of course, put them right directly to your... I no need to make a, make a folder or anything. Just go right into the SD card. Now, these are songs we recorded, so we're not going to go to those. We're going to go to one that's maybe something better sounding, like A City in Florida by Dead Mouse. So, the first thing you get to see here is the usual effects you get with the, with the sound effects. The speed, pitch, you know, the same thing you got with the sound one. Put it back in the middle. And then you also have effects here, like radio. Now we're yeah. sounding like we're in a like we're outside a bar or something, not a bar like a club. We got karaoke in case there's voice. There, let me here's a hint for you. There's no voice in this song. We have an echo. That'd be really entranced. An eight bit. This one doesn't work too well. I've come to find uh, sometimes it works when you have really strong lead instruments, but not so much when you're listening to tr the hardcore trance of today. Or techno. So we also noticed this little thing here. These are no buttons. By pressing them, you add little sound effects to yourself. Or if you press the, the uh, X and Y buttons, you can wait. Oops, wrong buttons. X and Y buttons, you can actually change the instrument. Or you can just tap on them. Oh well, not everything every day. Let's ruin the, let's ruin a good song. This is actually pretty good. There's actually a lot of them, so it's not like a you don't like you have to worry too much about that. But you know, once again, not really necessary. Just a nice little twist. Oh, what's this? You ask. Pull it. Why it's a visualizer, visualization. and of course, obviously, by turning on the 3D, it looks a lot cooler. Yeah. But, and then let's pull it again. And see what the next one is. Uh, well, this one shows the left and right, the left and right, and together, so you get to see any differences between 3D effects, but it really is not in this case. Now you get the actual visualizations. 
It was the Excite Truck. Bike. It's bike. Truck in our game. Do they actually do anything? Yeah, they affect... Now, now, if you actually wait out the, the ra uh, wait it out, it actually gets to the finish line, and one of, the, one of these got racers gets uh, yep. a trophy, which is kind of fun. And 3D, it also really benefits, too. And here's a cool one in 3D. This uh, one, at first I just thought it was just him flying around, but you can actually use the circle pad to move fly around. And you can even shoot, too, by using the Arnold buttons. So if you get a little bored, you know, fun little... Actually, game. I think I have better, something better if you're bored. Oh, let's keep going. Like this one. Well, well, actually, I don't think this one really does much. This is from uh, the uh, Rhythm Heaven. And it's just cool. He kind of bounces to the rhythm, but I guess in some songs it doesn't really appear as obvious. And if you press the arrow button, he has little things pop up on him. That's fun. This is more of a game, I think. Yeah, this one. This oh, one. Get your game and watch. Yep. Now, but, of course, here you can see how long the song's been playing. Or is, well, that, or is that, that the time? That's the time. Oh, wow. It's late. Uh, and here, we can, what's that for? What's that, that for? Oh, you gotta do this. Press over the side of oh, the circle pad, and guess what? Suddenly the game has become an actual uh, game. Yes, now you actually can play a small time-wasting minigame. As the background, you can see it actually uh, counts how many scores. If you push pause, it actually stops the ball. Yep. So, let's move onward. And here's the other one for you. This clock is important because you see that blue area there? It actually tells you how long the song runs for. So, say you're waiting for the bus or waiting for someone to show up or whatever. This will actually tell you if you can listen to the whole song without missing your scheduled appointment. And this shows you images we've taken in the past. For 3D, you once again get to... Oh, oh, hey, there's that image of the table you like so much. And there's our faces. And we're back. And that's what the music channel has in terms of visualizations. It's pretty neat with the visualizations, but otherwise it's a pretty cut-and-dry product. Now, what's interesting about this is you can actually play the music and close the 3DS, and I, I hear it should actually well, stay Well, it, it won't stay on when you close it. Really? No. Nope. Not when, not when the uh, headphones on. Oh, you need headphones for it to work? Yes. Well, again, I learned something new. Tony, how would you be able to hear what the speaker is going into itself? Uh, magic? Nice to know my my brother knows what he's talking about. There was so much promise, Tony. All so right. much promise in me. So that's the end of that little discussion. Uh, we still have a few more things to go into. So we'll get right into those in the next one.